Okay guys, apparently last night we had this huge branch fall on the netting to our turkey hat or turkey pen. There's some of the turkeys there. Yeah, this is um, a widowmaker branch. Yeah, it fell from I wanna say it's that one right up there. Yeah. That one branch. So Donald is trying to get it off. I don't care if the uh, tree is, the tree limbs are in the enclosure. We just need to get it off of this because it's all, it also bent down the, um, the chicken wire. I'm going to have to fix that too. So we are going to take the time to get this off and then see if we can get the netting back working. Well, it ripped a huge hole. Well, I can mend the holes. Well, we have more netting in there. Yeah, we do. But I also have uh, the hay bale twines. I could easily just put some twine around it to, to at least fix the hole until we can do something this weekend. Yeah. All right, guys. We got it off. We're just going to leave the pieces in here. It's not a big deal. Um, right now, I'm trying to mend the holes. I am definitely going to have to get like a twine bale uh, just to make it better. Uh, we got a few holes right here. Um, but we'll just make it to where the turkeys will at least be safe tonight. And then um, we'll just take it from there. I have a duck in a tire. What you doing, little mommy? Do you have an eggy? What you doing, little mama? Do we have an eggy? No, but I kind of like you having to sit in a tire, Missy. Mr. Ibis is now in with my ducks. <laughs> Alrighty, we have the one side of the fencing tore down. We're gonna put a gate from here to the house for the garden area so our chickens can't get into it. And then we tore out, this is the old flock pen. We taken down the fencing, the fencing's all right here. I, we just have to roll it up. Uh, but we're going to use this to create another gate um, over by um, from like the duck pen to the house. So that way I can actually let my ducks and the uh, goose out in this area and into this area so that way they can maintain the weeds and the lawns. Um, but yeah, we're going to be, uh, planting. This is once we take out, this was our old coil house. That was our old, uh, uh, mulch bin. And then this was a duck house. It was, it's a, um, it was originally a dog house, but we're going to get these moved out of here eventually. And, uh, we're going to start planting all the bananas. This area here gets really, really wet and it stays flooded in the back where these guys are and by putting bananas in here bananas use a lot of water so they'll help with maintaining that um help the land with the drainage and <laughs> look what i just found <laughs> a purple potato looks like animals have been eating it so i'm not gonna worry about it i'll let my chickens and everybody uh when they come around to this area have it i have plenty of potatoes everywhere <laughs> and then i did notice this was our old quail house and yesterday i happened to find a rat in it making a house 
Ah, looks like he did not return. Let me check the other side. But yeah, this was just the stuff we used to breed when we did quail. And let's check this side. Oh, it stinks. Hmm. I might have to clean that out. Get all this stuff out of it. Um, so, but yeah, that's uh, what we did yesterday. And I'm actually kind of happy because uh, this whole area will be able to really use for growing get more raised beds oh let me show you this we also were able to move the mail basket over that thing was a beast oh it, it's just big and awkward but here it is and eventually this is going to get filled up with dirt we're gonna put a board here, so that way we have more dirt, and that way we can grow things like uh, tomatoes, eggplants, um, stuff that has like deep roots, so that way we can then pull it up when we're done. So that's the plan, and I just gotta get, we just gotta get out here and uh, pick up. It's just, uh, as you can tell, it's uh, one of those days where more rain's coming. We're going to take out the tires and we're going to stack them. And we are going to use those to grow regular sweet potatoes, not this purple sweet potatoes. We actually want some regular sweet potatoes. So we're going to do that. Um, that'll be a little bit later. And my uh, greenhouse is open. Oh, and the squeaky noise you're hearing, that's my basket. Sorry about that. I may need to put some WD-40 on it. <laughs> Here's the greenhouse. We have, from what we see in the weather, we got another cold snap coming Tuesday night into Wednesday. It's supposed to get down. Uh, the low is supposed to be 37, so it's not too bad. Um, and then we got a couple more nights where it looks like it'll dip down into the 40s this weekend coming up and we have to protect that um sour sap which i am happy to say look at all this new growth on our mangoes the sour sap actually has brand new growth on it already so we're going to come in here get this area all taken care of, cleaned out, um, plant whatever we have in here all around the property now that we got more room. And from there, wow, this stuff is real, look at that strawberry tree. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we did take a strawberry tree cutting because our big one, which is right here, I am really worried about it. I don't think, I think the la the uh, freeze that it went through for three days that we had really got to it. I mean, it's got mushrooms growing on it, which I know is not good. The bark is splitting, so I don't know. I'm, it's been such a long time. I may have to uh, do a little research here um and figure out if this tree's bark is supposed to split even the one that was growing off of it got hit really hard um even at the base you can see it down there it's just splintered mint's coming back that's mint here and there and with the weeds <laughs> got um Strawberries are in bloom. Ain't that pretty? These are the ones we're going to keep. I got to get in here. There's that stinging nettle. Ugh, I hate that stuff. 
Um, so far, none of our cassava has come back yet, but cassava is a root plant, so we will see how that goes. Here is the other strawberries we have, but we want to get rid of these um, because we're tearing up all of these mats. These mats are coming up. I'm going to get and do chop and drop there. And mainly in this area, we want to grow shrubs or short trees. The onions and the garlic are doing great. Here is where the mailbox was. So that's uh, going to be more of an area for us to walk around in. And then this guy, I think the freeze got to this. This was our beautiful papaya. Um, but it's really wobbly. And the bark is really, really soft. So we may have to sacrifice this one and get rid of it. But that's okay because when we planted it, it was before the greenhouse. And there's an actual door right here. So if we take this out, this would give us room. And we can then plant one more along the fence line here. So that way we got a walkway, a, a nice walkway. You know, we're trying to make it to where it's convenient for us, easy for us. Um, my cotton is done for the season. Uh, these never, sorry, the cotton's done for the season. These never popped out. Um, I only had one or two, so that's not bad. And then over here is our thornless blackberries. And where is it? Here it is. This branch keeps falling down off the fence line. As you can tell, we have flowers. So we will be getting a lot of blackberries here really soon. And that's one of, this will be year three of this one blossoming. Oh yeah, look here. Here's brand new ones. Aren't they pretty? All right, well. Pretty much that's all for right now. Um, we're just slowly going through each section at a time, trying to get things done before spring hits and see where we can um, grow again. Um, good thing is my moringa took the, uh, hit, the hit of the freeze really hard. I have brand new growth right there. Little itty bitty things. Our mulberry tree is coming back. So excited about that. Bananas are starting to sprout new leaves. There's a new one right up there. A couple over there. So soon, once the last of this cold weather, probably by next weekend, not probably within two weekends here, we will be able to uh, start planting and not have to worry so much about the uh, freezing cold temperatures. But a lot of our papayas got hit, so we're, uh, we're going to be cleaning this out too. A lot of this stuff is going to go. Get the tires out of here. Donald wants to put some type of water feature. I don't know. And he wants call ducks and he wants to make an aviary right here. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, guys, we got the Walmart Wagyu again. <laughs> um, one is a ribeye. Yeah. This one's a ribeye. And the other the one's one what? On the right is the ribeye. The left is your uh new york strip and i just wanted to show you guys the marbling on this that one on the new york strip really looks good and then i'm salting it yeah we're getting it ready for tomorrow night we're gonna have a nice little dinner it's just the two of us so we decided to um 
do something fancy. Salt burning it overnight. Yep. To bring out all the juices. Yours is looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. So all the edges. Yeah. All right. We'll show you the end results later when we get it all cooked up. All right. So Donald is done cooking. And what do you got there, baby? All right. We got garlic and butter fries. Ooh. We have green beans. These are our Asian yard longs that we grow. And then we have some of the Wagyu Walmart steak. You have a, a um, so uh, you have a New York strip, and I have a ribeye. Nice. This is gonna be a good dinner. You're such a good cook. And then for dessert. Wait, we have dessert. Yes. What? What do we have for dessert? Ooh, what a is nice that? Key lime pie. Oh, <gasps> key lime pie. Oh. Oh, I think my heart stopped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go eat.